Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing well. This side Priya Bhatia and in this specific video I will be discussing about one of your widely asked question from me that is about the Turing's work experience. So let me try to share my personal experience. Uh also I will talk about ki what is the entire flow shortlisting process of this company and how i actually got the opportunity to give the interview in this specific company so it's back in last year if as far as i remember it was in august 2024 one of the recruiter reached out to me from turing and uh, they tried to share with me the entire information regarding what is this company all about how it operates as this is a us international firm and gives a remote work so how the things happen internally uh which specific team i will be working with so every every detail that specific re recruiter reached uh, uh, out to me and shared with me now i really think that you know he must have seen my linkedin profile my github repository and the uh, platform maybe youtube as well uh to get that specific information about me and that's why i always say that please be active on these kind of platforms because that really helps you to gain a lot of opportunities in your life with respect to the uh companies hr will reach out to you definitely i think in today's uh time whatever work i am doing whatever collaborations i am getting it's only because of these platforms now when the recruiter reached out to me i definitely respond to them yes and uh, that is where the interviews are scheduled now let me try to explain you what are the rounds we have at least i do had at that point of time maybe these things uh, changed or maybe these things vary from team to team but for me the round one was the dsa based round so uh my coding platform tha and we have to solve the coding questions uh there was i think two coding questions were there and apart from that there were sql questions also and definitely we have to pass the test cases just like we have the platform of lead code similar to that so we have the test cases and we need to make sure that those test cases should pass so that is the first round or first i would say screening round shortlisting criteria for them once that round will be cleared after that uh, there was a technical interview round where they have discussed with me regarding the uh, coding part in which they have given me the data set so uh, there was one data uh, i think it was a open source data only and what they told me is to do the filtering operations which i have done via pandas so if you are comfortable with pandas library which is very very important uh, in python you will be able to attempt those questions apart from this they have asked me few business use case studies and uh, told me that how will you tackle that specific scenarios so these kind of questions are very widely asked when you apply for data science interviews because that is where they get to know that okay how your uh mindset works how is your problem solving ability and how will you tackle different scenarios and that help the interviewer able to understand that whether the person will be able to tackle the real time problems or not pretty well so that is the overall idea in the technical interview round which is the round number 2 once that round was cleared after that uh again i have another round where for example when you apply for software development job roles you will have a system design round similarly in this specific job role we don't have exactly system design design but it's kind of a business use case where the complete focus was on your project what you have done in your research work for example in my case they have personally asked me regarding the uh, work which i have done at iith right followed by the projects which i have done in the company so i have explain to them all of those things apart from that uh, they have given me few related use cases for the same and i have to explain to them that okay this is the maybe right path which i will prefer over any other path for example if let's say i i will be having outliers in my data so uh, and the data is very 
small so even i don't remove those outliers directly because that will cause a loss of information so how will i tackle that situation right there are multiple ways so these kind of questions they will ask from you just to check that whether you have actually worked on the projects or not and once you will be able to answer these questions clearly last part will be the client side interview so they will as per your experience ex as per your expertise map you with the clients and then you will be having a final interaction with the clients where you will be working with now in turing uh, the culture is very dynamic it's not that uh, the project which you start will last for years uh, it all depends on the team size it all depends on which specific project you are working with it might be small it might be long for example it's a good thing also it's a bad thing also for me i initially faced a lot of challenge because uh, it is kind of dynamic projects keeps on changing the good thing is you will learn a lot because every project will give you a lot different insight but at the same time you will find it uh, you know i would say challenging because the bad thing is it takes a time and then once you start gaining that stability then again they told you that now you have been shifted to another project now this is the another thing which we have in this specific company finally uh, now i will help you to understand because many people told me that okay it's a us based form so how are you getting the payments in this specific company so again payments definitely you will get on a monthly basis just like any other company the only thing is here everything will be done via a platform called as deal so that is where you will get the salary in the usd now you can convert it back to a local bank system and you can from that specific tool itself directly transfer your money obviously whatever with the processing charges will be there that will be there but the good thing is because you will get that usd money so that is far more than any other firm uh, which is located in india so definitely on a monthly basis you will earn more at least this is what i have experienced from my previous offer letters this is giving me much more salary as comparable to other companies so that is the beauty about this specific company so your your time will be worth with respect to what you are getting from this company as a financial part also so that is important uh, and now if i have missed something if you have any other concern any other doubt at least from my side whatever things uh, you guys have asked from me whatever be the most frequent questions i got i think i already have shared all of those answers at the very end uh, let me talk about my role also so i am working there as a as a lead data scientist so uh, internally my major role is first of all to lead the junior data science people who are working under me plus uh, reviewing the task of the trainers whatever they have done uh, exactly what is the work which we are doing what is the project where i am allocated currently maybe because of the confidential issues i directly cannot cannot share that uh, exactly what is the payment part also i am getting that is also it's not feasible for me to share on the public platform but that is the overall idea majorly we are working with a uh, uh, llm based uh, tools only the entire ecosystem is currently focusing on generative ai part so here also we are and i am also a part of that specific team only uh working on the vulnerabilities of a given data and how can we train the model how can we create the data set all of those things we are tackling uh how can we imply rlhf on top of this so these are the basic stuffs which we are doing and on a daily basis uh getting a lot of new things learning a lot of new things here so overall i would say my experience is really good till so far and if you are also interested please start uh, looking uh, onto the careers portal over there and you can also let me know if you have any specific questions any specific doubt with respect to this specific company you can just let me know in the comment section and i will uh, you know try to respond to you as soon as possible with this bye bye everyone and happy learning to all